My name is Courtney J. Martin, and I'm the Paul Mellon Director of the Yale Center for British Art. The painting that I have chosen is Joanna Boyce Wells's portrait of Fanny Eaton. Completed in 1861, the painting captures a rare moment, a black woman in Victorian Britain rendered as not only an individual, but also as beautiful and graceful. The small oil and paper was likely a study for a larger painting, but by itself, it hints at the interior life of a woman who was an artist model, an immigrant to London, a cleaner, a wife, and a mother, all by the age of 26 when this painting was completed. Perhaps the sensitivity of the rendering can be attributed to the painter, who was also a woman with her own tale of overcoming the obstacle of gender in the art world of the 1800s. Sadly, Wells's premature death in the same year that this painting was made halted the completion of the full-scale likeness of Eaton. Additionally, Fanny Eaton's likeness stands in for the many other Black people living in Britain in the 19th century and their various pursuits and ambitions for which we do not have images from which to gain insight into their lives and historical import. So, you know, the painting is in profile, but I felt the expression was very strong and very specific to me. It seemed like there was a lot going on emotionally. Um, I, I couldn't even, I'm not sure if I know the words to, to put to it, but I felt like, oh, this feels like a person that I might see being very, contemplating a lot of big questions. Since she seemed to be uh, sad, but also reflective, uh, sort of comfortable in her skin, but also not comfortable with where she was. I, I, I was getting a lot of those. That, that's what I felt what, you know, looking at it. It's hard to say, of course, if that was the intention or, or what have you, but I, I felt very struck by, by the expression, even in profile of Fanny Eaton. It was really quite beautiful. I think it's like very well crafted. It doesn't particularly strike me as, as itself, but the story of its title being changed to presumably be more respectful or give honor to the model who sat for it, which I understand, but I also sort of, you know, think that, that there's value in looking at things the way the artist intended it even if like you disagree with what those things are. And so I, you know, I'd much rather imagine this piece as it originally was created in order to like form my own thoughts about what this image is and what its purpose is and who it's for um, in that way. Immediately I thought of uh, the work of Jean Reese, right? Um, and you know, the, the incredible project of White Sargasso Sea um, in giving light to the way in which um, even very light complected or white adjacent <laughs> whatever, right? Uh, women, um, especially in the Caribbean, in, in, you know, English colonies, British colonies, were always treated as other, right? As, as darker, um, even, and there was always sort of this threat uh, of them being somehow darker. So the fact that she is sort of also looking away, I think is interesting. Um, that she is seen, I think, in a, it's a, it's a beautiful position, but it's also a position, I think a very subservient position right, uh, in the way that she's placed. And there's almost more focus on her hairpiece and her jewelry than there is on her actual face. So it's all about the wealth that she can give and that is, can be draped upon her and not about her, right? Um, even the, the fabric of her shawl or dress, I think it's a shawl of some kind, a trevoso of some kind, is, has more focus than her face. That edge, that blue edge that's going along the shoulder and down the arm, 
that that I don't know if you can see that sort of like electric blue line. It's really extraordinary. I like the way that's repeated in the hair. But when I look at that um, that line along the the shoulder, it feels uh, it has this kind of like uh, to me vibrant presence of, uh, um, that kind of signals uh, signals a crossing or signals an edge or signals. Um, uh, like an elsewhere uh, within that space. And, and that's what I, I really uh, was drawn to in that piece.